Hello, I'm Kamini Isola, Managing Director for AWS in the Benelux, and I'm honored to welcome you virtually today to the AWS Summit online. The AWS Summit has marked an important annual touch point since 2013, where all our AWS teams get the opportunity to connect with and deliver educational sessions to you, our customers and partners. As you know, due to the COVID-19 situation, we had to move our summits into this virtual format, and we are glad that you found the time to make it today. I guess most of you are still working from home, sometimes while still homeschooling, and this is why I thank you very much for joining this event and hope the content we will deliver today will be valuable to you. Since I started eight years ago at AWS, it still feels like what we call day one, and it is mostly because of our inspiring customer stories, large and small companies alike, the way that they are inventing at an impressive pace. Today, tens of thousands of active customers in the Benelux are using the AWS cloud. My team and I are helping these customers from the four offices in the Benelux. With the acceleration of AWS cloud adoption in our area, we keep investing and are hiring account managers, solutions architects, trainers, business development, and professional services specialists, as well as other job functions helping you to bring your ideas to life. Besides the Edge network locations in Amsterdam, we've invested in and launched an Edge location in Brussels. And as you may have seen in the press, or perhaps are already using, we launched Amazon.nl in our retail business in the Netherlands in March of this year. Our customers have lately demonstrated that they are the true heroes. I am constantly amazed by the way companies of all sizes are taking advantage of cloud to innovate rapidly. I believe this is why today, more than ever before, I see our customers rising to the challenge presented by this global pandemic. Let me quickly give you some examples. We see AWS customers enable the continuity of students' education. During COVID-19, schools closed and virtual classrooms have become a necessity to ensure that teachers and students stay connected and students continue their education. In Belgium, Smart School has been a strong player in providing a live e-learning experience to students to improve the collaboration and interactivity between students and teachers during the crisis when classes need to be delivered from home. In only a few short weeks, Smart School Live delivered more than 1 million sessions to more than 400,000 students in Belgium. We see AWS customers help to find solutions to the immediate needs of caregivers. Every day in the news, we are faced with reports of shortages of personal protective equipment for frontline workers. This inspired two brothers in Amsterdam to come up with a simple and innovative idea to locate surplus protective equipment and redistribute it to people most in need. Their platform, Moncapius Node, or PPE Needed, enables people who might have face masks at home or companies such as beauticians, painters, construction workers, or dentists to give their stock to the platform. By doing so, the platform has already collected more than tens of thousands of masks for healthcare professionals and has been working with the Red Cross to simplify the collection and distribution of the material. We see organizations helping to better inform their citizens. For instance, the Flemish government used artificial intelligence and a virtual assistant to answer citizens' questions on good hygiene and thus free up emergency lines. They implemented a Q&A bot in the AWS cloud to provide information on frequently asked questions about the crisis and to answer questions about regulations and restrictions. Besides these cases, I see every imaginable vertical business segment using AWS in the cloud in a meaningful way. For example, in financial services, you see it with National Nederlanden, ABN AMRO, Aegon, and Bank. In life sciences and healthcare, you see it with Philips and SkinVision. In retail, with AWS customers such as CoolBlue, Wacamp, Picnic, Yumbo, and Takeaway.com. And in the consumer goods space, with Heineken. You'll also see it in the public sector, where we have government agencies, academic institutions, and nonprofits worldwide using AWS. Check out the public sector breakout sessions for more on this. I would also like to take this time to thank our partners who are working closely with our customers. The AWS Partner Network has tens of thousands of APN partners from all across the globe, and we are lucky to have a vibrant local community of partners and training partners in the Benelux. A good example of a partner supporting our customers is Oblivion. They help the Dutch e-learning company Scula, who is using cloud uh, technology to support peak traffic. Scula reviewed its, its architecture with Oblivion in order to be able to support the increasing number of students connected to its platform during this period and deliver educational content to 600,000 children from primary schools in the Netherlands. 
Another example is how our partner Sentia has contributed to improving process management in Belgian hospitals, working with our customer Sensinx. Together, they developed a serverless smart healthcare platform to ensure better tracking and use of materials available in hospitals, such as beds, pumps, wheelchairs, etc. During COVID-19, these hospitals have been able to minimize the contamination within hospital units by monitoring and limiting the material that was used for COVID-19 patients only. If you want to meet with Sentia's team, you can find them in the Partner Expo, and I encourage you to learn more about our partners and their competencies in the Partner Discovery Zone. Something that I learned from our customers is also how the journey to the cloud is only possible with a deep investment in sharing with your team and training the talent that you already have. It is important to ask questions, dive deep, and build a safe journey to the cloud. In that light, I'm happy to announce the first AWS Community Day in the Netherlands later this year. It is a community-led conference expecting more than 500 attendees and will run either in person or online depending on the circumstances. Check out awscommunityday.nl for more information. I'd also like to mention that AWS keeps investing in the future of IT and giving back to the community here in the Netherlands. Together with TechGrounds, a Dutch organization that brings tech entrepreneurship and digital skills to vulnerable communities, we launched the AWS Restart program. This 12-week program has been designed to prepare unemployed and underemployed individuals to launch careers in the cloud. I am really glad to share with you that already 10 of the 16 participants who graduated in February have found a job even in these difficult times. Our partnering organizations include Rabobank, PostNL, Hema, Randstad, Booking.com, Mobiquity, and the City of Amsterdam. Building on this experience, we're currently running two online classes in parallel with a total of 45 learners who will graduate in July. I invite you to contact me if you would like to know more about our Restart program. Now let's take a quick look at today's content and offerings following the keynote from Dr. Van der Fokkel's Amazon.com CTO. The Summit Online Agenda will let you choose between 55 technical sessions delivered by AWS experts, organized around 11 tracks based on your role, such as I am an IT architect, I am in DevOps, I am a data scientist, etc. Once you identify the main sessions that you want to attend, please stay curious and look at the sessions recommended for other roles, as you might find relevant content for you there too. Let me highlight one session in particular. At 11.15, our Benelux developer advocate is talking about how to build smart applications without a machine learning background, which is interesting as many Benelux companies are exploring AI and ML. There are also various activities to explore during the summit. Browse through local customer stories, ask your part, uh, questions live to AWS experts, participate in the AWS Deep Racer Challenge, or find out more about exciting startup stories. Now, please stay tuned for the keynote from Dr. Werner Fokel starting now. Thank you for joining us today. Enjoy the training. Always feel free to contact my local team. And above all, stay safe. <music>